Hi, I'm Robert Dakota, and this is a Worldviews interview, and we're here with Jade Wau Grigori, caretaker of Shamanic Ways, and uh, that's been handed down from a lineage of his grandfather and the generations before. And we're here at the Creative Life Center in Sedona, Arizona, and Jade is going to tell us more about that gathering. There's been, as we are all now familiar with, a decimation of the bee population, of colony collapses throughout not just this country, but the world. In my own prayers and meditations, I was given a very specific directive to call together people on this day, May 2nd, 2007, for a day in appreciation of honeybees. In the recognition that it is through appreciation that we send the message that we care. And that we care enough to do something without waiting for scientists or investigators to find out the cause of the collapse of the honeybee colonies, but rather to take direct action now. And that we can take that action by conjoining our hearts in common unity and the experience of appreciation for honeybees. So this gathering here today is a response to that call that has been put forth, as well as gatherings that are also going on right now throughout the world on this day. People gathering together likewise in appreciation of honeybees. And to each of you, I say thanks. How does ceremony work? Can you explain that a little bit? Ceremony is the intentful construction of a bridge which spans the barriers that we've created between our life as it's lived and the realm of our soul. Myth is the reality of the soul. Just as history is the reality of the day-to-day -day linear world, myth is the reality of the soul. And the mythos is the topography, the terrain, the cosmology of the soul. And the soul expresses itself through dream, art, music, poetry, dance, theater, ceremony, these creative activities of humanity. Ceremony is one of those creative activities where we bridge that gap so that our awareness can move into the depths of our soul and so that the expression of our soul can move forth into conscious embodied experience and expression into the world. So we dissolve that boundary between our soul and a mundane world and create a unification of spirit through soul, through body, mind, emotion, and thenceforth into the world. Jay, thank you for calling this gathering today and prompting people uh, to come together and show their appreciation. And thank you for what you do for Sedona and uh, people in other parts of the world. You are welcome.
Yeah. I want to thank everyone for showing up here today. A few weeks ago, as I was contemplating this devastation of the honeybees, the collapse of the colonies. And like everybody else who's doing the research on the net, making phone calls, speaking with people, and what's going on? What's happening here? And it became pretty evident that nobody really knows. There's a lot of speculation about you know, cell phone radiations, about harp radiations, funguses, bacteria, viruses, mites, uh, nicotinide, um, pesticides, weather patterns changing. I mean, you name it, the theories are there. And they're all probably valid, but nobody knows for sure what has triggered this collapse of the colony, 60 to 70 percent of the colonies in some places. Whereas in other places, they're doing fine. And being one who really wants to apply myself towards a situation I see that needs some assistance, I was in prayer and meditation asking, what can I do? What's the best route here for me? And the response that I got was, be in appreciation. Said, oh, yeah. Yeah. And I recalled how a few years ago, back in uh, 2004, we were in the midst of an ongoing continual drought here in this area, which we're still in, but there it was months and months of no precipitation at all. And likewise there, I put out a call for appreciation of precipitation. I sent that message out. Many of us gathered together here in Sedona and people joining in from different places around the country and the world. And as we were doing that, from a bone dry sky, the clouds began to form. The rain began to fall. I was like, yes, thank you. Even though we weren't sending out a prayer for rain, for precipitation, we were just standing in appreciation of precipitation. And I know from these ways of my caretakership, this lineage, that when we hold appreciation, the spirits respond. They listen. They get it, that we care. And that we cared enough for precipitation of all of its many and varied forms that they gifted us with it. And so likewise here today, we're not here necessarily to make prayers for the honeybees or for their return or for their health. I mean, you know, certainly I do that every day. But yet the focus of this here today is simply to be in appreciation of honeybees. Rather than getting into the diatribe of the politics and who's doing what and how's it happening, what's the root cause and arguing about that, stepping forth in action, stepping forth in spiritual action. And that's what we as this community in Sedona are so known for throughout the world. And so we have this, this awesome opportunity to stand together in union and to give appreciation for honeybees and let them receive that blessing. Is there a website that people can contact you at if they want more information about what you do and your works? Yes, my own website, www.shamanic.net. And there you can find many of the articles that I've written and posted there on a variety of shamanic themes, as well as current activities and updates as to ceremonies and events that are going on. Thank you, Jade. You're welcome. Hello, I'm Jade Watukagori from Sedona, Arizona. And ceremony creates a common unity.